Every time you exhale, feel I'm exhaling all my worries, all my negativity, all that is not good for me. Centering the awareness between the eyebrow center. And throughout the practice, if you can maintain the same, this can do wonder. If for 60 minutes, when you're doing asana, you can maintain your awareness throughout between your eyebrows center, can do big change in your energy channels. You slowly become aware to the physical body, rub your palms together nice and warm. Apply on your forehead, on your upper head. And we to stand up for a little bit of warm up, we're gonna do it before we get into the today flow. The standing up with your legs slightly apart, just two to three minutes, we're gonna warm up the spine, the hip, the elbows, the shoulder. Take your hand in front of your chest. As you exhale, starting to twist right to left. Go with the flow, don't have to create any jerk in the body. But keeping the awareness in your spine, on your breath, or in your eyebrow center. Four, three, maintain the smile throughout the class. Two, so I know I'm not troubling you guys so much. <laughs> and one, relax, change the side, raise your both hands, throw it back. Inhale, hand goes up, exhale down. Open up the shoulder, five, four. Three, two, and one, change, rotate your arms, keep your awareness around your shoulders, hold between your eyebrow center, five, four, three, two, one, change the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bring your hands on the waist, as you inhale, do a nice backward bend, roll your shoulder back, take the chin up. As you exhale, go down. Anyone have a back pain, please bend your knee. Otherwise, keep the head down. Hold the elbows. Drop the body. Let the body, the spine become really long here. Feel the mild stretch on your calf, on your hamstring, or on your back. Inhale, coming back slowly. Hands on your wrist. Fall back. Exhale, go down. Interlock your fingers. Swing. Using the low back. One, two, three, four. And five, hold your ankle, stretch into Padastasana. Take your hand down, bend your knee into downward facing. You can do gentle pulse. Lots of pressure on your heel. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, right leg forward. Now here, the right ankle and the right knee in a line. I don't want this extension. It's called hypertension. Not good. Keep the hand down. Keep the chin up. You're going to swing your hip. Ten times. One, two, two. Open up a hip flexor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Downward facing. Change your leg. Keep your chin up. Keep the stretch in your throat. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Downward. Inhale right leg forward. Exhale, right hand goes up. Twist the spine. Go back fully. Let your back open up fully. Three breaths into your belly here. Look at the center of your upper palm. Gently smile. Lots of stillness in the body, in the mind. One more breath. Take your hand down. Coming back in downward facing. Inhale, change the sides. Exhale, take the left arm. Three breathing. Once you reach in final position, you have one goal that my body is, is still, my mind is calm. That you have to dial up. One more breath. Take the hand, come back in downward. Astanga, knee down, chest and chin down, waist remain off the mat. Inhale, cobra. Slowly. Exhale, downward facing. It's a great warming up for the spine. Three posture. Drop in a stump. Cobra. Mountain. Two more rounds. Astanga. Cobra. Mountain. One more. Cobra. Mountain. Left leg forward. 
right forward. Inhale is slowly coming in Namaste Mudra, front of your mat. Take your hand together. Let your eyes be gently closed. Roll your shoulders slightly back. Uplift the chest. Tuck your tummy in. Bring the focus between your eyebrow center. Keep gazing, keep reminding your goal that I want to awaken, I want to uplift this energy, this pranic force, merge into my third eye. Experience. Visualize the sunset if you can. And you're going to repeat the mantra Om Surya Nama. Take a deep breath. Om Surya Nama. And we start from here. Inhale. One. Raise your hands. Slowly lift the chest. Pull up. Feel that your whole ribs, your spine opening up. And then you fall back. Engage the glutes. Not forward, falling back, Kalina. <laughs> that second, exhale, two go down, slowly drop. Anyone have a back pain, please bend your knee. Otherwise, keep it straight. Keep your palm on the floor. Inhale, look up. Exhale, drop the chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale, drop the chest. Inhale, raise your hands slowly from the front, going into the chair pose. Lengthening the spine, keeping your thigh firm and strong. The lesser you move, that means the more the control over your body. And this control comes how you use your mental power, your willpower, five. Keep the breath flow into your solar plexus. Don't cheat with that. You can cheat with the asana, that's fine, but not cheating with your breathing. Two. One. Exhale. Rotate your arms behind your back. Interlock the finger. And open the chest. You should feel every single muscle on your chest is under deep stretch. Now try to breathe into your chest, not into your belly. Three rounds of breathing. Known as thoracic breath. Exhale can be through your mouth. Inhale through your nostril. One more. Exhale, release your arms, drop it and all the way goes from front, take it up, go two more inch down, let the load remain on your thigh, five, four, three, two and exhale, drop your hand, leg straight, hold your ankle joint, give a nice stretch into Padastasana, anyone have a back pain, bend your knee, it's alright. Here you can bring your focus to your belly button, to the solar plexus. Remain there guys. The tension that you feel, it needs to disappear. The only way to disappear that, to work on this, to spend quality time in your asana. Be there, be there, be there, be there. Smile there, hold there, love yourself. One more breath. Inhale, slowly come back. Raise your hands. Lock your fingers, your palm facing upward. And coming in a Talasana, palm tree pose on your toes, stretch, stretch for me. Exhale, drop your hand, bring the left knee to your chest, hold it. Keep the ankle stretch pointing down, four, three, two, one. Take the left leg back, raise your hands into the moon, five, four, three, to an exhale, slowly bring the left leg forward. Hug your knee. Little bit balance, little bit coordination, little bit focus and you'll achieve. Three. Two. Inhale, take the leg back, raise the hands. Five. Four. Three. To an exhale, slowly bring the leg to the chest. Hug, hug, hug. Let open the hip. Three. Two. One, inhale, take the leg back. We're going to do four rounds with the left leg. Raise the hands up, lift the chest. Allow the lower body to go towards the floor. Upper body towards the sky. Three, two, one. Exhale, bring the leg forward to your chest. Hold it. Find the balance. Keep the right leg strong, steady, and focus. Three, 
keep the smile on on your face so i can't teach i feel i'm really too much stress here one take the left back raise the hands five four three two one exhale bring the leg forward hold the knee drop the legs change the side bring the right leg stretch your ankle toe is pointing the floor the ground three two while the knee is touching to your belly that means there's a pressure on your organs one more and inhale take the leg back raise your hands best you can hold here total control over your body but the breath flows energy moving four three breath beautiful guys lovely two breath one breath exhale bring the leg forward close to your chest hold it there standing strong on a left leg four three two inhale take the right leg back into the moon raise your hands your front thighs should be parallel and your back knee this is not high lunges i don't want your back leg is straight i want towards the ground so the glutes is contracting hip flexor is under stretch front thighs working hard four three breath smile and breath two one exhale bring the leg forward hold the knee there on the chest stay there stay there three two one take the leg back raise your hands from there every time you do the same posture you do with one intention that i am doing better than before that's the goal and how you can become better one controlling the body second taking the breath deeper third becoming more aware three two and one exhale bring the leg to your chest one last time you're going to do it Three, two. Inhale, take the leg back. Exhale, raise your hands. Five breathing. Very solid, very firm, very steady. But the breath is constantly hitting your solar plexus. Don't do half breathing. Not helpful in yoga. Three, two, one. Exhale, bring the leg forward. Hold the knees. Stretch. knee to the chest breath to your belly so you can starting to create pressure at massage on your organs three two and bring the legs down drop the body inhale look up exhale into padasthasana give a nice stretch inhale slowly raise your hands going back into the chair the thighs up parallel just like you're sitting on the chair i don't want high parallel tummy in smile breathe deep beautiful guys lovely yogis you made my weekend eight seven tracy take the hands slightly up six yes five four three two one hand down leg is straight inhale look up exhale take the right leg back turn the back foot one side flat into the warrior raise your hands as you exhale lift the chest towards the sky the ribs here need to open up so the front thigh remain parallel but the chest and the rib and the spine is uplifting so the space that you creating for your prana it can go deep into your organs for three to one exhale drop the chest on your front thigh and shift the weight on your front leg five the back leg is just there to balance four three Two, inhale open the chest lift the spine four three two and exhale drop your hand into downward facing drop in chaturanga inhale cobra exhale mountain inhale right leg forward turn the back foot flat exhale raise your hands to the veer badrasan lift the chest keep the hip square this hip should not twist right or left keep it square here keep your back quads engaged keep the chest uplifted keep the smile on 
my job is to give you pain, your job is to remain happy. That's it. There is no fight then between student and teacher. Three, <laughs> two, and one, you exhale, fall on the chest. And try to slide a little bit forward to increase 10 more percent load on your front thigh. Five. That's beautiful. Four. Three. Two, inhale, lift the chest wide open, take the chin up. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, exhale, hand down, coming in downward facing. Inhale, moving forward, body straight. Exhale into Chaturanga. Four. Three. Two, inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward. Inhale, take the left leg forward. Turn the back foot flat. Raise your hands. Lift the chest. In this posture, there should be zero pressure on your spine. You will only get pressure on the spine if you're not uplifting the ribs. Feel somebody is pulling my hand towards the sky. But somebody also pulling the body towards the ground. So there's a segregation in the center of the body. Three. Beautiful, beautiful. Two more breath. One more breath. Exhale, drop on your front thigh. And shift a little bit extra weight to your front leg. Leaning forward. Four. The more the load, the more you're going to transform a bun. It's simple. Three. Two. One inhale, open the chest. Wide open, feel the stretch. Three. Two breath. One breath, drop your hand, downward facing. Dropping in Chaturanga. Cobra. Mountain. Inhale, right leg forward. Turn the back foot flat. Hands, raise your hands. Hip is square, thigh parallel, chest uplifted. Five breath. Very good, Dao. Excellent. Four breath. Jaira, try to keep the hip square. Three breath. Two breath. One breath. Fall in the front thigh. Extend the spine here all the way. Now, wherever you are, Increase 10 more percent load on your front thigh. Shift the weight towards your leg. That's it. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, open the chest. Right. Every muscle on the chest needs to feel a stretch. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, drop. Come back and downward facing. Chaturanga. Cobra. Downward. Inhale, left leg forward. Turn the back foot flat, standing in warrior. Two, Virabhadrasana. You can adjust the back leg as per your requirement. Your hip is square, your left knee is bending. So the left knee comes on top of your left ankle, hand in your shoulder line, turn the neck to the left side. Chest uplifted. Weight of the body, Alina, it's a warrior two. Yeah. Yes. See how much control you have over your body, your breath, your emotion, and your thought. Two more breaths. One more breath. Reverse warrior. Take the right hand around your back. Take the left hand up. Lift the chest. Slightly back bend. Where the left side of rib and side muscles should feel a stretch for. Three, two, one. Drop the left hand outside your left foot. Take the right hand 90 degree. Bend your knee a little bit more. So there's a mild stretch on the back groin. Look at the center of your upper palm. Ten. Nine. Now stop moving. Eight. Seven. Six. Bend your front knee an inch more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Drop the right hand down, coming in downward facing. Drop in Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, downward. Inhale, change your leg. Come back in warrior. Two. Virabhadrasana. Fold the right knee. 
hip is square, hand in your shoulder line, turn the neck to the right side, control over the body. Alina, without looking at your hand, align them, without looking at them. That's great. Use your intelligence to fix your limbs. Your mind knows where is your toe, where is your finger, where is your wrist, where is your shoulder. Why you have to use your senses? Don't control them. Don't use them. Four. Stop moving, guys. Too much movement. Three. Beautiful. Lovely. Two. One, before you do physically visualize the reverse warrior in your mind, left hand on your waist, take the right arm, lift the chest, slight back bend. Your right side of your rib and side need to be open up. Back leg remain straight, front thighs working. Four. Lovely. Three. Two. One, drop the right hand outside the right foot. Flat your palm. As you inhale, take the left hand, open the chest. Look at the center of your upper palm. So the neck is also twisting. As soon as you reach in the final position, you have one goal. Total control. On the body, you can't control your mind. But the body you can control. Breath you can regulate. Three. Two. And one. Drop your hand. Come back in downward facing. Do few pulsing gently. As you inhale, take the left leg forward. As you exhale, take the right leg forward. Hold the ankle, stretch into Padastasana. As you inhale, stand. Exhale, bring the left ankle on the right thigh. Half lotus. If you're not able to place on the, pel on the pelvic area, you can keep it one inch, two inch, three inch down. But don't keep on the knee. Okay? Above the knee as per your limit. Now the knee is pointing down. You see this knee is pointing down. So use your hand. Leave the leg. As you inhale, raise your hand. Exhale into the chair pose. Yoga will make you flying machine. You will start flying soon. Once the body is totally toxified, the lightness that you're going to experience within, there's no other medicine can do that. Control, control, control. Jaira, why dancing? Go down in chair. Five. Nile, go down in chair. Four. Thank you. Three. Yes. Two. And one. Coming up the chair. Drop the hands. Remain in the same half lotus. Hold the right ankle with the right leg. Exhale. Starting to bring your head to your knee. Four. Don't break it, guys. Huh? Three. <laughs> Two. One, come back. Change the side. Right on the left. Half lotus chair pose. Sometimes you need to remember the language of yoga is Sanskrit, right? Now I'm going to say the name of this posture and you're going to repeat in your mind. Ardh Band Uttanasana. Repeat in your mind. Ardh Band Uttanasana Uttkatasana. Chest uplifted, thighs going down into chair. Come on, Nile, go down. Why doing half? Are you going to have half meal today? No, right? Five. Four. Beautiful. Willpower, muscle power. You all have it. Learn to use it. Three. Two. One, leg is straight, coming out, drop the body. Hold the left ankle with the left hand, exhale, starting to get closer to your left. The Yoga Sutra says, practice till the time your body is completely modified, completely transformed, completely get clean, so you feel total lightness within. Now you see how much practice you need at this stage. Two more breath. I can't see your face. I don't know if you're smiling or crying. <laughs> One more breath. Come back, guys. Wonderful. Slowly drop your head. 
Feel his body starts now. Hold your ankle stretch. Slowly take the right leg in child. Left in child. Drop the body in child. Let's take a four to five breath. Long breath, focus, remain between your eyebrows center. This is you need to remind yourself that today class is, I'm focusing on my eyebrow center, my third eye. Two more breath. One more breath. Slowly move yourself into the cat pose. Ankle stretch as you inhale, move forward. As you exhale, drop halfway out of the chaturanga, holding for five. Four, three, two, inhale, cobra, chest wide open, exhale, chaturanga again, five, four, three, two, inhale, cobra, take the chin up, one last time, exhale, chaturanga, five, with the knee down, four, three, two, inhale, cobra, exhale, downward facing, inhale, bring the left leg forward, exhale, turn the back foot flat, coming in a warrior position. With the knee straight, and we're gonna do very certain asana and yoga designed to train, designed to build strength and burn fat. And certain series work towards releasing the tension, improving the flexibility and mobility. This one is goes for deep stretch on the calf, on the hamstring. Keep the hip square, bring your hand in your solar line. As you extend the spine, extend slowly, not twisting your hip. You see, hip will remain square. Only the spine, bring the hand on your ankle or on the floor, take the right hand up. Without bending the front knee, pull the front knee cap upward towards your pelvic area. Look at the center of your upper palm, twist the neck fully, right chest open up. Now control the body. Three more breathing. Keep the left leg quads engaged fully. Two breath. One breath. You're gonna rotate your upper hand, bring it parallel to the floor. Pull here so the right side of your rib or side muscle gets stretched. But keep looking at the ceiling. Five, four, three, two. Take your both hands together and pull nicely. Five, four, three, two. Drop your hand, bend your front knee. Come back and downward. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward. Inhale, right forward. Standing, triangle. Turn the back foot is slightly in. Front knee is locked. And from beginning, you keep the quads engaged while pulling the kneecap upward. Can you see this? I'm pulling this up. You see? Yes. Engage it. So your knee is safe. Very good. Hand is on line. As you exhale, extend the spine, drop the hand at right angle, take the left up. Keep going deeper. It's a side bend for the spine, not twisting. Left hand fully up. Left side chest opening up. Center of your upper palm, your focus. Breath is still flowing into your belly. Body is very still. Total control. Two more breathing. One more breath. Rotate your upper hand, shoulder, bring it parallel to the floor. This way. Five. Yeah, that's fine. Your right leg remains straight. Four. Three. Two. Both hands together. Head is locked between your arms. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, bend your front knee, take the hand down, come back in downward, starting to pulse, gentle stretch. Pulse, pulse, inhale, moving forward, and Dandasana, exhale, Chaturanga, five, four, three, two, inhale, Cobra, exhale, downward, inhale, left leg forward, exhale, right leg goes up, higher the better, keep the left leg, strong leg, focus, a point in front of your eye. 
and then bring your hand together in Namaste. Any point you focus, you all learn to find one pointed mind. Hand together in Namaste near your heart, gently smile. Otherwise, feel bad that I'm putting too much pain in your body. For, for beautiful Natalie, excellent. Three, very good Tracy. Find the balance. Very good Dao. Two, very good Nile. One, drop the hand and take the right leg as high as you can. Starting to walk back with your hand, bring the head to your front knee. Yeah, yeah, take the right leg fully up, Alexandra. You're doing good. Like you're doing a split up there. Now stop wherever you are. Stop moving. Four. Three. Two. Drop the right leg back. Control way. Take the chin up. Exhale. Downward facing. Inhale. Bring the right leg forward. Exhale. Take the left leg up. Keep the right leg strong this time. Engage the quads. Pull the kneecap upward. Find a point where you can focus. And when you're sure mentally, then you bring your hand in Namaste. It's mind game. Body is just a tool we're using it here. Good, Alina. Good job. Just hold. Six more seconds, guys. Five. Four. Three. To one hand down, leg goes up all the way to split. And then starting to walk back with your palm. Then bring the head to your knee. Like you do in Padastasana. Bring your hand more back, Alina. Close to your feet. Walk, walk, walk close. Yes. Four. Stop moving there. Three. There's no reason to move. Two. One, drop the back leg. Take the chin up. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, moving forward. Exhale, drop the waist into the cobra. Take the chin up. Exhale, lift the waist into downward facing. Press the heel to the floor. One more time, inhale. Reaching into the cobra. And exhale. Inhale, take the left leg forward. Exhale, keep the right knee down. Stretch the right ankle, standing here. Take your palm together. Chest uplifted, hip is falling, stretch on the hip flexor. Deep inhalation, as you exhale, right elbow against the left knee. As soon as I lock, there is a pressure on my side. And then lift the left shoulder up, look at the sky. Twisting is always helping you to heal your organs. To release the tension from your spine. Keep the back knee down, down. Not up on the floor. Look at the sky. Look at the ceiling. Only Alina can see the sky, I think. Four. <laughs> three. Two. One. Take the hand down. Beautiful. Coming in downward facing. Change your leg from there. Same technique. Back knee down into dragon pose. Palm together, left elbow outside the right knee, lock the knee and then twist. Doesn't matter how deep, always listen to your body. Keep your palm forcefully together. There's a force. Arms are strong here. Not loose enough. Four. Look at the ceilings. Three. Two. One. Take the hand down. Coming back and down. Gentle pulse. A few times. Three, two, one. Inhale, moving forward. Exhale, going in Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Mountain. Body goes straight. One hand balance. Take the left hand up. Lift the waist higher. Look at the center of your upper palm. You can keep the foot on top of your other foot or front of the foot. As the left hand is taking the load of the body, keep the left upper arm and shoulder strong. 
Keep the body still, firm. Don't allow any negative thought to take over your journey. Four. Too much dance, Jaira. You can do dance class later. Three. <laughs> Two. Wow, what a spirit, guys. Super. Take your hand down. Coming back in down facing. Go in Chaturanga. Come in Cobra. Downward. Change the leg. Sorry, change the hand, not leg. <laughs> One hand balance. <laughs> One hand balance nearly. The limbs that you're using, these limbs constantly taking the energy out of your body. When you're starting to practice and learn gestures and mudra, you save that energy, turning inward. And in certain asana, we use gestures. This is beautiful, guys. Just stay two more breath. One more breath. Take your hand down. Body goes straight. Turn to the left side. Okay, you're going to take the left leg up. Take the left hand up. Look at the center of your upper palm. Left leg, left hand. 5% more challenging than the previous one. And you're all here to find the challenge, accept the challenge, and win the game. Four, three, two, one drop, change the side. Step by step. Visualize in the mind how you want to look like, and then do physically. Five, four, three. Two and drop your hands. Be in Dandasana, knee down, chest down, chin down in Astanga. Now with support of your arms, shift your chest two inch back. So the waist will go a little bit more higher. But the chest and chin remain on the floor. Take the right leg up. Left foot underneath your right thigh. Exhale. Now take the chest two inch off the mat. Five. Four. It's not for me, it's for you guys. Three. Two. One, drop the leg into cobra. Exhale, astanga. Chain the side. Fold the right foot. Let the thigh rest on the right. Lift the chest. Five. Four. Three. Two, inhale, cobra. Exhale, mountain. Walk a step forward. So you can press the heel to the floor. Push the chest to your thigh. Feel the spine is becoming longer. Feel my spine is becoming really long that each vertebra I'm segregating, creating the space so the blood can reach to your brain. The function of a nervous system can improve. Take the right leg up here. Higher the better in downward facing. Stretch. Keep walking on the height. Now fold the right knee and push to the left side. As you bend your knee, you're starting to push the right knee to the left, getting into hip flexors. Control the body for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly drop your leg, change the side, other side. Take the left leg up. Five. First, give a height. Four. Three. Two. One, bend your knee, push the knee to your opposite side. You should feel the mild, the sweet, the gentle stretch in your flexors here. Four. Three. Two. One, drop your leg in mountain, drop your knee, chest and chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale downward. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, turn the back foot flat. You remain here. Right now, the knee is bending. Hands on the floor. Now I start to straighten my front leg. If your hands are not able to be on the floor, you can keep on your ankle or you can keep it on the blocks. But the knee is locked, the spine is parallel. This is just the starting position. We're preparing. Exhale, right hand up. And exhale, left hand up. Body become parallel. 
spine parallel, arms parallel to your floor. Feel that deep stretch on the hamstring on the thigh. Feel somebody is pulling your body and making your spine longer. Four. Three. Two. One exhale, drop your hands. And exhale, all the way surrender. Bring your chin to your sin bone. Spend quality time. Now you know there is a tension and that's related to your muscle, to your tissues, your ligaments. And you can really work on this tension to release. Through adding a little bit more powerful breathing and your tension to it. It only needs quality time. Staying, staying, staying. Two more breathing. One more breath. And bend your front knee. Just bend, okay? Straight again. Remember, one more asana here. Keep the right hand down against the left foot. Take the left hand up. Twist the spine. A stretch remain on the front leg. The same areas, the same group of muscles. But twisting will add a little bit more extra value to it. Then the spine become more active. Ten. Down knee straight, front knee straight. Eight. Seven. Six. Lovely guys. Five. Four. Feel the breath is going deep throughout my body. Very good Alexander. Full control. Three. Two. Drop your hand. Bend your front knee. Take the hand down. Coming back in downward facing. Change the leg. Bring the right leg forward. Turn the back foot flat. Adjust the hand. Front knee is locked. So starting position is this. If you feel your back leg is too far, you can walk inch to inch forward to decrease the gap. Your quads is engaged and strong. Right hand up. Left up. Bring the spine parallel. Tummy in. The tension that occurring on your thigh. Feel all the energy, all the oxygen I'm sending into that area. Nine. Both hands up. Chest is parallel. Spine is parallel. Arms are parallel. Five. Four. Control. 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 Three. The pain today is the cure for tomorrow. Two. One. Take the hand down. Bring the head on the knee. Extension of the spine. Once you find the right depth, you stay, guys. Then try not to force. Then you really need to spend good quality time there. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bend your front knee for just two, three seconds. Yeah. Straight your leg again and twist the spine there, taking the right hand up. And if you can align the both hands without looking at them would be great. Like a straight 90 degree line, both the hands. Now breathe into your belly. There's so much space. Eight. Seven. Six. Control. Whatever movement happening, this is the time to control using your willpower. Five. Don't let go. Four. Three. Two. One. Bend your front knee. Take your hand down. Coming back in downward facing. Rest in child pose for few breaths. With the knee together. So you have a little bit pressure on the organs. Two more breathing. One more breath. Coming back in downward facing. Slowly give a nice length to your spine. The best performance of your life today. Of mountain. Where the complete stillness occurs. Not in the body but in the mind too. Where the breath is flowing into your spine. 
where the spine is completely rejuvenating for if movement happening that is not the best asana if there is no movement total control and stillness that's the best asana 3 Two. One, body goes straight, slowly take the right forearm into the plank and on the left forearm into the plank, interlock the finger, body straight, chin and fist in a line, put a conscious effort to squeeze the core muscle here, feel the 90% of your energy right now is used by your core, squeeze it harder, Alina forearm down. It's a plank pose, forearm on the floor, elbows on the floor. Thank you. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Don't depend on the posture. Use your mental power to tighten up the core like a rock. Muscle is shaking there. That kind of contraction I want. Eight. Seven. Six. Make it more powerful, more stronger, more harder. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, right palm down, straight, left hand goes straight, come back in Dandasana, body straight here, keep the core tight still, three, two, one, take the right palm down, left arm, coming back into the plank, and your whole focus coming back to the core, 20 seconds, the best plank of your life is when there is so much contraction on the core while the other body part remains still. This is not only physical body. As soon as you become aware to this, this is very important healthy chakra in your body. 10 seconds. Solar plexus becomes active. This is the center of the fire element that controls any digestive activity. 5. 4. Elbow and shoulders in a line, Elena. 3. 2. Go one more inch front. I see you cheating, huh? 2. One right hand is straight, palm down, left hand is straight. Coming back into Dandasana, coming into downward facing. And stretch, stretch, stretch. Sit down. Just sit down and look in the screen, okay? What you need to do. It's not very difficult. It's only required a little bit permission from your mind. So as you're in downward facing, you're going to take the left leg up and throw it forward okay <laughs> don't get up you're gonna lift it and throw it between your hands then matter how far it goes okay let's try take the left up and throw forward now drop your back knee on the floor let your back ankle open starting to slide the front leg forward and getting into hanuman asana keep the hand straight let the gravity pulls you down without resistance. Doesn't matter how deep you go, wherever you're reaching. Just stay. Let's see. Yes, Karen, very good. Just stay there. Keep your hand straight, strong, so the chest is uplifted. Alina, you fall on the left thigh, left hip is not good. Keep it square. Keep the body hip square. Eight. That's it, that's it, that's it. Just stay. Seven. Six, five, four. Now starting to walk down with your hands, bring the head on the front knee. Like you do in Paschimottanasana. But take your time. If she's not going, it's fine. Go halfway. Doesn't matter. You keep your hand on the floor if your body is not allowed to go down. That's super nele. Good, Ria. Good, good, good. Four. Just stay. Just stay calm. This pain will disappear slowly with more positive and right practice. Three, two, and one. You're going to slide the front leg first, slowly. And same way, the way you went into the posture, you're going to lift the leg, take it up, and then drop it. Right leg up. As you exhale, throw the leg forward. Drop your back knee down, stretch into the Hanuman. Keep the hibiscus. Don't fall here like that. This is not a asana. Doesn't matter. And you might feel totally different on the side because right side is normally more tense. 
chest uplifted, chin up. Let the gravity pull you down. Good, Jara. Good. Just stay there. Very good, Nili. Super, Natalia. Just one, two inches away. Not bad. Five more seconds. Excellent, Karen. Four. Three. Two. And start walking forward with the arms. Bring the head on the knee. Completely surrender into the Hanumana. Stop moving the body. Start allowing the prana, the energy, the vital force to go into the area where you're feeling tension. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowly coming back. Bring your legs slide back a few inches and then take it back in downward facing. That was a cheating, Natalie. <laughs> And go rest in child. First the child pose. From child, lie down on your back. Make sure the spine is flat. Bring your both knee to your chest and press them. Press in a way that the whole low back opens up and keep pressing. Now try to rotate your ankle gently here. In yoga this is known as suksam vyayama. Suksam means minor. It works exactly on the lock energy on your joints. Helps you improve mobility. Change the side, rotate in opposite direction. Four. Three. Two and one, drop both the knee to the left side while the twisting to the right side. You can press the knee with your arm if you want to. Bring the right shoulder blade on the floor, turn the neck to the right. Focus point is your low back right now, where you feel a mild, gentle, sweet stretch. If some of you back opens up fully, you might not feel, but the posture asana still help. If you're not feeling a stretch in any posture, it's not that it's not the mean that it's not working. It's still working. You're still unlocking the energy channels. Come back and change the sides. Turn to the right. Twisting to the left. Twist fully. Wear the left shoulder blade on the floor. Keep your breath flowing into your spinal cord. Three. Two. One exhale, come back. Slowly keep your feet down, hold your ankle. As you inhale, lift the waist off the back. Engage the glutes, the spine here. Your chin should touch your chest. That means the neck lock is happening. You straight away press around your thyroid and parathyroid. Engage the hip fully. It should be like a rock tight. Five. Four. Three. Two. One exhale. Drop the hip. Bring the left ankle on the right thigh and you're going to hug your right knee. Beautifully stretch on the hip and if your hip is getting a stretch in this angle then the back will be relieved. Keep pulling just for 10, 9, 8, 7. Amazing posture to release the sciatica pain. Any kind of back pain, even the slip disc, we have cure under the yoga therapy with this. Beautiful stretch. Release the leg and change the side. Hug your knee. Slowly starting to pull the knee. Five. What happened? 
pull in a way that you feel really good stretch on the hip four three two and one relax just lie down in savasana keep your legs slightly apart hand besides your body palm facing upward leave the body free like there is nobody from all kind of worries all kind of tension all kind of movement just like in the night you go into your bed for a deep sleep this is deep sleep but a conscious sleep you being totally aware while the body is sleeping take a long and deep breath through the nostril fill up your diaphragm hold the breath in for few second exhale through your mouth let go all the tense and all the worries bring your total attention to your body feeling and visualizing together that my body is becoming lighter and lighter and lighter i am losing all the weight of my body all the tension from my body it is melting into the floor bring the awareness to your spine and visualize the whole spine in form of golden light the whole spine in the form of golden light this light doesn't have a rays but glowing golden color and if you can imagine hundreds of nadis energy channels coming out from the spine going to each and every part of the body spreading throughout these energy channel also in the golden color sending the pranic force the vital force to everywhere in the body just visualize the inside of your body that everywhere is just the energy channels in a golden light and if any part of the body you think need to be healed and you have a issue you keep your focus to that part right now if anything that need to be healed right now you keep your focus there might be your back it might be your thyroid it might be any other issue just keep the focus there and it's starting to think that all the energy all the prana is moving to that area and that area is becoming golden collecting the energy yoga therapy works with the simple formula you learn to awaken the energy and transfer the energy where it's required with different practices and you will heal naturally bring your attention back between your eyebrow center bring your attention back between your eyebrow center keep gazing at the eyebrow center the trikoti the third eye consciously with love with perpetual flow of awareness thinking of indigo color
bring your attention your focus back to your body starting to move your toes your fingers gently give a nice stretch to yourself then bring your hand in namaste mudra front of your heart repeat the mantra om shanti hi shanti hi shanti three times om shanti hi shanti hi shanti hi rub your palm nice and warm apply in your forehead or on your crown area 